So President Trump made this very serious allegation. You're on the Senate Intelligence Committee. Do you have any evidence at all to suggest that President Trump is stating something factual here? By that, you, you mean the tweet yesterday about the uh, President Obama? Yes. Yeah, so obviously uh, I have no, I'm not sure what it is he is talking about. Perhaps the president has information that is not yet available to us or to the public. And if it's true, obviously we're going to find out very quickly. And if it isn't, then obviously he'll have to explain what he meant by it. So um, I, I don't, I'm not sure what the genesis of that statement was. But, uh, well, I imagine uh, we're going to learn more about it here over the next few days one way or the other. Do you think the FBI should clear it up one way or another? Well, that's also a difficult thing. I mean, the FBI does not uh, confirm either that there is or that there is not investigations. It does not talk about pending matters, either denying that they exist or admitting them. For the most part, that's been their practice. And I know it's a source of deep frustration for a lot of people, not just on this issue, but other issues in the past. But what I think we should do is everybody needs to take a deep breath and, and calm down here. And let's go through this of what we are doing. In the Senate Intelligence Committee, we are working in a bipartisan way to collect facts that involves reviewing classified and sometimes unclassified and open source information. We will issue a report to the Senate that will be available to the American people, and then people can form judgments on the basis of the collection of facts. That is what we are undertaking. I remain confident that the Senate Intelligence Committee is going to produce a document built on the facts that will allow people to reach judgments based on the facts. And that's what we should be doing in something like this.